Hi, I'm Maddie Lanzi. And I'm Arda Muhammad Ali. Welcome to Pastor Sheriff's Office Student Report. Today we continue our focus on human trafficking. According to the U.S. Department of Justice, an estimated 100,000 to 300,000 American children are at risk of being trafficked for sex each year. The Bureau of Justice Statistics estimates that 94% of sex trafficking victims are female. Kids are being targeted at our shopping malls and online. Our phones are always with us and now they are accessible to traffickers at any time. So parents, we want you to be informed on ways you can protect your teenager online. Keep an eye on your teen's social media accounts and know their screen names and passwords. Be available to listen and keep an open dialogue with your teen. Let them know that they can talk to you about anything that makes them uncomfortable. Stay informed on the latest social media trends. Do your own research. For example, there are many apps that hide photos and images on a phone. Talk to your children and teens about sex trafficking and sexual abuse. Describe human trafficking as modern-day slavery, where people are captured and treated inhumanely. Awareness is the first step in preventing it. And now Corporal Alan Wilkett, the head of Pastor Sheriff's Office Human Trafficking Task Force, shares some more information for parents and how no child is immune to human trafficking. But I think a word of caution here for everyone that would hear or listen to this particular uh, newscast, and that is simply this, that there is no child that is completely without risk because these predators are looking for opportunity to, to find a vulnerability in every one of our children, whether that means being left alone at a mall, whether that means being left alone on a playground, if that means not educating our children as to the, the risks that are associated. So one of the things that I would mention is that while we look at these big vulnerable populations of runaways and we look at big vulnerable populations of, of foster care in the system, everyone needs to take notice that every child has at least a small amount of risk associated.